Yo, what's going on folks? Elva Geek back once again, this time with some gameplay for Treasures of Montezuma Arena. Now this is the second game um, of the series on the PlayStation Vita. Now the first game, when it first came out, I made a video about it, kind of a rant video. Um, it was one of those free games that just egged you on to like pay for stuff, but it didn't give you any initiative or to actually play it. Like there was no trophies or anything along those lines. And uh, eventually they patched it to where it had trophies and I kind of shut up and started just saying whatever and letting it ride. So um, they brought out this game and it has, from what I've played so far, has tournament and story. Um, for tournament, you pretty much go in and play and story, I believe you pay for. Let me see, let's make sure. Okay, I was wrong. It's <laughs> It was the other, uh, section on the front page where it was um, a paid for thing I guess the only thing I've played so far was um, let me get out of here no oh, let's go back to menu I want to go all the way back to the beginning and let's go to I'm gonna end up going to tournament instead because this is uh, what I've played so far. So, all right, let's go into tournament. Uh, let me actually bring my Vita up so I can look at it. Make sure this thing is recording audio. Should be. Right, so as you can see here, um, it's a little bit different. This is the tournament section. So I've fought a few of pe a few people on my friends list so let's see if I can okay he's protected 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 aha all right so it basically goes into the game but it's a versus match so let's see right here you're still just your active okay let's forget the shield so it basically goes into like a sudden death. Uh, you'll see um, basically what it is. So the bars down at the bottom, when you build those up, you end up getting abilities and powers to actually attack your um, person you're going against. So these skulls, like I just did that, it automatically takes uh, health out of the character. So the game is over when uh, one of the characters has zero health. So. Uh, filling up the green bar gives you healing, and I believe red, white, and blue uh, all are damaging spells, and I don't know what purple does yet, and I'm, there we go, um, oh yeah, the little vials right there, if you open those, if you collect enough of those, you heal yourself, well, just the three. Take that right there so he can't give himself a heal. I'm about to take some damage. Ooh, double. If I lose, <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna laugh. Alright. Should have went with the red. There we go. Didn't take it from me good. Actually do some damage. Especially with the fact that I, I think I have an ability that uh, makes the red do more damage. Let's grab some more health. So he can't grab it. All right, give myself a plus six. Right, give yourself a plus two, whatever. Let's go there. Take that plus seven, that minus seven. And plus two, I can deal with that. Uh, let's go for red again. Yeah, I know I'm not gonna build it, but being able to build up another of those would be would definitely be ideal. Let's see if I can uh, see anything with red. No, I don't. I see a heal. Let me take that heal. Take the heal so he can't heal himself. Now I see a ton of heals. Uh, let's see. Is there any red that I can get? No, let's go with blue. Right, I'm right on the edge of it. All right, so I won't be able to kill him with this one. So let's go for the skull. Right. 
Now, if I could get a red, that would be so amazing. But I'm going to take you. I do see the health, but I'm trying to actually take that damage down. There we go. So I won. All right, so I got myself some more points. Uh, in this one, it doesn't seem like there's like a level, like a certain amount of times you can play. Um, although I'm not sure. Okay, those are the notifications. Let me take them all off. But it's pretty much updated in real time. Like you can see who attacked you and uh, who you attacked and you can click more and see uh, what you got. So let me click, let me click more right here. And you can see here I got uh, 160 experience and 40 uh, honor. So, oh God, I don't wanna, okay, good. So uh, also in this section, there's the bonuses, which are ones that I believe uh, work for just one match. Uh, there's the items. I ended up buying the ruby ring, which is why I was saying I wanted to make sure I could use uh, red because I get the attacks with the red totems take 20% extra. And yeah, so as you can see right here, I have my, my ring equipped. I need to get some more um, gems so I can unlock some more stuff, but it's going to take me a while. But um, yeah, I just want to give you guys some quick gameplay. I didn't want to go too in depth on it. Uh, on this game let me go back to the menu and see if I can go back to see um, what's that what that first mode was and how much it is let's see want to see even for myself just how much it is just so I can show you guys and gals okay so there's endless that's what's locked let's see all right, so that yeah, so that's just the basic one, which is kind of like uh, bejeweled. Let's see uh, how much this one cost. Two ninety nine. Okay, so um, if these if this is a game that you're into, you can definitely go ahead and give that a try. It seems like in the tournament mode, um, at the moment, for what I've seen, it's there's not a, a limit on the amount of times you can play it. Uh, in the original game, there was like a certain amount of times that you were able to play, and once you ran out, you had to wait like a few hours. Just like basic free games, but it, it, from what I've seen, it looks like tournament is just have fun with it until you go. Um, like I said, this game does have trophies um, that you can go into, so that is also a plus. But my name is Elder Geek. Have fun, take care, and enjoy, and uh, you have yourselves a good day. Peace.